Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build in the Stygian style, a simple yet often underutilised architecture that works really well in the desert. So, without further ado, let's get started. Stygian architecture is pretty much exclusively found in the city of Sepmeru, as it's terribly underrepresented elsewhere in the exiled lands, even in the rest of the desert. Stygian architecture is based off of the ancient Egyptian style, and whilst it is deceptively simple, it's not without reason. Away from the timeless beauty of the Temple of Karnak and the Luxor Temple, the ancient Egyptian people's architecture had to adapt and fit the harsh, arid environment they found themselves in, and thusly they made a lot of functional choices and adaptations compared to other ancient architecture to make life easier for themselves. Their walls, for example, were usually made from hardened clay bricks atop stone foundations, and their homes also often featured ventilation on the roofs to vent hot air out. With that basis in ancient Egypt, Stygian has a few core tenets that dictate its architecture, so let's take a look at those. The most obvious feature is an earthen colour palette, typically using shades of brown, though whites and greys can also be present as either a form of sun deflection, or revealing the masonry underneath the coating. Ancient Egyptian homes were typically whitewashed to keep the sun at bay, though this isn't represented in-game. The second is that the walls were always either straight or gently sloping, often without any exterior elements like buttresses or footers. Gently sloping walls are not really possible in Conan Exiles, but straight walls are of course the simplest form of architecture. Thirdly, Stygian builds are often very small and compartmentalised. In contrast to more complex designs that work all together as one congruent unit, Stygian buildings can often be easily defined down to squares and rectangles of varying different heights and sizes, making these designs extremely adaptable and scalable. Stygian structures often have small, covered windows to block sand. This is sort of borrowed from ancient Egyptian architecture where windows were relatively rare, and if they were present, they were small to prevent sand and dust being blown into the home. Finally, one of the most characteristic features of Stygian is a flat roof. This is also borrowed from ancient Egypt where people would sleep on their roofs at night as it was much cooler than the comparatively boiling heat of the interior of the home. Now if you're a PC player, you have some modded options for Conan that will provide some really nice architectural choices for Stygian, mainly in the sand and stone mod, but for now, let's stick to the base game. Probably the best option is either sandstone or stone brick. They're a bit rougher than the modded options, but they get the job done with their earthen tones. Due to Stygian's compartmental design, it's really easy to set up a simple design that can easily be expanded and adjusted as needs be, as you can see from this pretty simple build I've quickly thrown up. To add a bit more detail and space into the design, you can add some roof access, which frees up a lot more traversable space. The ancient Egyptians actually used their roofs frequently for both sleeping and general life, so having access to your roof is both useful and, of course, historically accurate. If you want to get even more fancy, you can wall off a front courtyard. The slightly more wealthy Egyptian homes had interior courtyards where they kept animals and other resources important to their home and, of course, to feeding themselves, so this keeps in with the inspiration and format, whilst providing a bit more utility and a livable area for you. The important thing to remember is to keep the walls low. These were not towering defensive walls, but rather they were used to provide shade, block sand from entering the home, and keep any livestock firmly within the yard. After a bit of decoration, we have a simple and perfectly serviceable Stygian home, featuring lighting, a shaded courtyard, storage, and even some workstations. Even without all the fancy mods available on PC, you can still quite easily build yourself a nice Stygian home, and of course the adaptability and scalability of the design means you can continue to add on more and more segments as you need them. Looking back at the modded options for PC, sand and stone is, in my opinion, the best. The maroon set is perfect for Stygian. You can create some really lavish looking designs that suit the Stygian style whilst adding a bit more of a refined polish into the build. The mod does add some things that aren't exactly historically accurate, but you know, unless you're aiming for full on historical accuracy, this mod is really solid for the Stygian style. Stygian isn't my personal favourite architectural style, I'll be honest. 
I've used it a handful of times and I can't ever say I find myself in a rush to use it again, but its historical links to ancient Egypt and its simple, adaptable design make it a really nice option for PvE or roleplay servers. To recap, Stygian designs are characterised by their earthen tones, small windows, compartmental design, straight walls and of course their flat roofs. Inspired by the homes of ancient Egypt, Stygian works extremely well in the desert, and it's a great option to consider if you're thinking about playing through Conan Exiles as a Stygian. Thanks for watching, this is the first of a few how to build videos I want to make covering more general cultural styles rather than one or two set designs. I've got a few styles earmarked for future episodes like medieval or gothic, but if you have more suggestions do let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, Discord roles and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, CoffeeMan04, Jacques, Marion Ladd, Ryan, Ben, Alfric, and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.